I'll start off with I thought that was a, a very, very good first half by our team. Um, I thought that uh, Dan did a nice job, and he went um, really five guards in the, at the end, and they outscored us 16-8 in the last four minutes. I kind of put Obach in a bad spot, but I was trying to get him some minutes and get him on the floor. And, you know, sometimes it's it works, sometimes it doesn't. And that was a bad matchup for him, and, and uh, that's my fault. But I wanted to get him on some floor time, and I thought he did okay. Um, really happy with the way our guys played. Um, it's the most assists I think we've had all year. I thought we did a really good job sharing the ball tonight. Um, and they came out early trapping. I thought Alex and Cam made some great passes out of the double teams, and we were able to uh, take advantage of that. The second half was a different story. I, you know, I know I didn't want to think about it, but I think we've lost three or four right before Christmas. And uh, I think the holidays and when they were leaving and when they're packing came into effect. But um, I was really proud of our guys. Uh, you know, finishing the first half of the uh, season or season one, nine and three is um, very good with our schedule. Um, but we've got some growing to do and this will give us guys a chance to clear their mind and uh, get away from the game for a little bit, spend some time with their family for holidays. And then, uh, you know, I thought we got some good production from our guys like Deshaun. I thought Cullen played well again, and Deshaun played well. I thought Cleveland's playing well off the bench. Arthur's a little under the weather, so I wasn't able to play him as much, and I, I probably shouldn't have put him in the game. But I just wanted to get him some court time. But, um, you know, really happy for, for this game to – to win and and go forward and, and I I'm a big fan of Dan's I've you know we've known each other since we came out of college and played and I've known him for a long time so you know it was good to bring his team over um, Demetrius it was good to see Demetrius um, you know really proud of him of graduating from college from here and you know us giving him a second chance to go play at Grand Canyon and and have a good year so far I'm sure it was very hard for him to come back here um, once you walk down that pit in a Lobo jersey, it's hard to come back in any other uh, capacity. So I'm sure that was hard for him. But uh, really happy that he's doing well. And uh, we wish all our guys that have been through here well. And, and I hope he has continued success. Were you able to talk to Demetrius before the game? I didn't get to talk to him before the game because they, were, they had game prep and shoot around at 1 o'clock and we had stuff going on. But, you know, I – I you know, I made arrangements to get his jerseys to him and, and do some things like that because he was part of our program, and, and I just wish him luck. And, and I'm very proud of him for graduating. That's a great feat, and uh, I just wish him continued success. In any way I can help him, I will. I thought it was better. I thought, you know, I, I talked to him a little bit about – I think where we've missed Alex the last two games, and it's not his fault, I said, he's done a really good job running the floor, guys. And if you're not going to throw it up the floor and we're not going to get it to him in a good spot, you know, he's wasting a lot of energy running as hard as he does. And I thought we did a little bit better job, but I think they did a nice job really collapsing in, really giving us open shots that we did hit, but kind of tried to take away our inside game. But I thought our transition game was a little better tonight. I just – I think we got to run a little bit harder on misses and, and really get something to execute really well on makes. And I think we're doing a better job of that. A week ago at this time, the, you know, the narrative about this team was that you had three scores and nobody else was scoring. And then back to back <laughs> games, you get 35 or 34 points on Saturday out of the other two starters. So now you get 25 out of the other two starters. How refreshing is it knowing you're going into a 12-day break, 12 day break knowing that that part of the, uh, the equation may be uh, at least for two games or so? Well, it feels good that, you know, we finally are making some shots. Um, and I think, you know, and I told Frank this earlier, I think our guys are really gelling. I think they're uh, trusting their teammates and making an extra pass. And I've just said it the last two games. I said the only way you're going to get back to winning ways is if you play together and share the ball. And I think they're making an extra pass. I think they're trusting in their teammates. And then um, I think all, all of them are playing well together. And it is a little bit of relief. Um, I feel really good about my team. And, and then and then you got a starter coming back um, in 12 days that we're excited to get back. So he's no longer day-to-day? -day he was day-to-day -day till Christmas. And then after Christmas, he is 
live. And there's no, is there any thought yet? I mean, I'm going to go again real quick, but any thought on who the other starter can be? Is Delaney because he's in that, the wing spot? Or is there any thought of starting Cohen as the fifth starter? I'll just let you think about it over Christmas. Right. <laughs> but who do you know about this club now? Maybe you didn't when the pre conferences were started. Um, I think they're pretty resilient. I didn't. I, I've always talked about Cam, but I didn't think he'd have such a great start that he's had. And I thought Alex have had. I think they both had a great start. I'm really happy with the way Kendall Williams is playing so much under control. Um, you know, with not having Hugh and and Hugh's always been a stabilized factor. I think he's really helped Cullen in the last two games in that he's able to bring the ball up and stabilize us a little bit. And he's not making wild plays. He's making really good basketball plays, and he's not trying to shoot it. He's, he got five shots. He got to the line. I mean, he did a lot of good things tonight, 15 and eight, and, you know, with one turnover. And, you know, I think really happy the way those guys played. I thought we would be more productive earlier in the year from, you know, the guys on the bench. But that's just growing. And I think that's just getting game experience and, and learning about our program and what we're about. And, you know, hopefully we'll continue to get better. It's good. I mean, I, I'm a big fan of the kids. And I told him after the game, I said, oh, it's my fault I put you in a bad spot. I put him out there against a 6'5 guy. But I just wanted him to get some minutes. And, you know, I didn't want to keep Alex and Cam in there when you're up 20 with four minutes to go. And I just, I just don't like doing that. And I, and I put him in a bad spot guarding those guys. But it was good for him to get some floor time. It was good for him to run the floor. He got – you know, he changed a couple of shots. He's always going to change shots, and he battles, and he's such a great kid, and and I just want him to be really successful. I got on him a little bit at halftime about, you know, knowing the plays, and, you know, we have some of that stuff, but I just want him to do so well. I want all my guys to do well. So, um, you know, and I didn't talk about Nick um, the last game. You know, Nick played 12 minutes tonight. Um, plays hard. He played 12 great minutes for us at Marquette. So, you know, we're getting some valuable minutes from a lot of those guys. Coach, if you could put your finger on one thing and say, we need to do this come the conference season, what would that be? I think we got we to gotta guard on more consistent basis as far as getting stops and consecutive possessions. And what I mean, like we came out to start the half and they hit two threes and a layup, and you know we just got to continue to get better. But I think our guys are tough and resilient. They're getting better defensively. Uh, I think they've gotten a lot better as a unit, as a 14-group unit defensively since we started. I, our fans were unbelievable tonight. They worked on their free throw defense. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Everybody have a happy holidays and Merry Christmas.